Hey guys, Jake from Motorhead here, and today we're going to be checking out this, the Lincoln Nautilus. Big shout out to Gallant and Ford Prescott, Arizona for letting us do this. So starting with the, the walk around, you can see this actually very good looking grill and headlights. You can see it does have a front camera right here. And as we're moving along, it has 27 inch tires. Um, they're all seasons. There's the badge. As we continue moving along, the gas tank is on the left side. Um, so this does have twin exhaust. Doesn't have a towing, doesn't have a tow hitch back there. So, continuing to move along those tires. And the rear view mirror does have blinkers on it. Okay. So, yeah, now that we've got the exterior done, let's move on to the interior. So, inside here, it's actually quite nice. You have leather seats quite comfortable two cup holders here center console which right here it has a little tray here it's quite deep actually currently I'm touching the bottom so you can see how deep it is big enough to store some water bottles we have all the buttons here which you can't see because it's not turned on it's electronic the gear buttons are up here which is like most Lincoln's start button is here and it has 360 camera it looks like you can turn on the cameras while you're driving with this this is park assist I'm not sure if this can auto parallel park but it's nice this has nice little trim here I think it's plastic but it's nice quality down lower you have soft soft touch materials here some leather right here and some some faux wood here. It's actually pretty nice. You can see the speakers there. Yeah. Under here you can see it has like the floating console that Acura has so you can put stuff under here. And so we're going to move on to the back seat. So going into the back um, leg room back here is actually not bad um, for the size of SUV this is. You can see I'm almost five feet tall, so yeah, it's pretty nice. We have this for cigarette lighter type outlet, USB and USB type C, heated seats and your AC. I believe it is dual zone. One seat is folded down, as you can see here. And cargo area, pretty good. You can see the seats are power folding. So yeah, that's it for the interior. So I'm going to use the remote start function here to start it. Uh, let's see, did that work? Let's see. Yeah, there. Yep. Sounds pretty good, actually. Moving around. You can hear that. That's pretty low back here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So I'm going to get in and look at the buttons here. You can see the screen. It's kind of starting up now. Um, but yeah, you have the buttons are on now. You have menu, AC, recirculate, all those controls. Yes, let's take it for a drive. Since I'm not old enough to drive, we're going to be having my dad here drive for us. So we're just about to pull out of the dealer here. And so, so far, even though we're just in the parking lot, I've noticed it rides really smooth. The AC is currently running. It's very powerful. Oh, wow. This thing has some real power. I'm not hitting this hard at all. Yeah, how does the steering feel, by the way, Dad? 
I like it. Yeah. It's not mushy at all. It's nice and firm. Although I must say the cup holders here, they're not super big. You might be able to fit like uh, one mug, but it's kind of small to fit um, a lot of mugs. But you do have cup holders in the doors here, which is nice. Oh wait, no, that's... Oh, Dad, did you realize that auto start stop was on? Yeah, I noticed it got really quiet. But there was... I, but I didn't feel any lag like I felt in some cars where you, when you, after it has that stop. You can close this thing right here, and it looks really good, actually. Nothing in here feels cheap at all. Everything feels nice. And it does show the speed limit on here. And it also shows the air conditioning up here and the temperature outside. Um, this does have the ten. This does have a ten speed. Um, Dad, do you want to give it? Do you want to goose a little on the way out? Do what? Um, give it a little bit of gas, kind of feel how it is. Uh, okay. All right. Oh wow. I That's it, got plenty if, of power. if I wasn't in a if I if this wasn't in an SUV I would think we were in a Mustang right now. And we're not even in sport mode and that wasn't even full gas. Definitely. That's Dennis from Ford back there who has kindly yep. helped us. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this thing rides pretty smoothly. I mean, I don't have a very stable hand, so I don't know if you're able to tell, but it's very smooth. And I like the little trim details, like down here, it says Lincoln. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there it is. And this seat is, it's actually quite amazing, very comfortable. The ventilated seats actually work very well. They were on for a bit. Guys, yes, that's good. it for this video. And to recap it, um, the exterior, pretty good. And it just looked very good. The interior, it was very nice, although you could see some Ford roots in there. And during the drive, it had a 2.7 liter twin turbo, which you can find in the Ford Bronco and the F-150. But because of the shortage of parts lately, this is filmed in August 2000. 21, you will have a hard time finding any of these at MSRP at lower or lower. For example, the one here at Prescott, um, it was $5,000 above MSRP. Well, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.